What's up, YouTube? So, it's with Techaholics. And today, I'm going to show y'all how to get custom ringtones on your Android Wear device. So, let me go ahead and let me show you that I did get a custom ringtone. So, I just go down here, go to my sounds. Go down to where it says watch ringtone and you see wait ringtone. It's not a normal one and I'll show ya. Now watch. So the way that I did this is a pretty hard but like it's the best way that I've seen how to do it. So my other video on how I showed you with the PC how to sideload apps, you'll want to sideload an app called ES File Explorer over to the watch. And once you get ES File Explorer slid over to the watch, you want to connect it to the same hotspot network. In this case, I got it connected to my phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. So you want to connect it to the same hotspot as your phone. So, the apps that you want to download are Ringjoid to make the ringtone, and you want to download M4A Audio Converter. So, with Ringjoid, what you're going to do is that you're going to go in there and you're going to create the ringtone. But unfortunately, it only pops up as M4A, right? So once whenever you get that done, you're going to go into the M4A and you're going to convert it, right? Into the OGG file. Once whenever that's done, you want to go into ES File Explorer and open it up and find out where the OGG file is, right? So you want to go into the device, find your OGG file. In my case, I moved it over to the music folder just so it's a lot easier for me to find but in this case it's over here so you want to take this and you want to send it to your watch so the way that you would do that is that you would just go to send and make sure that the watch is open to the ES file explorer so once whenever you send it over from the ES file explorer right so I'll go ahead and send it back over again. So you want to select your watch, send it over, and you'll see it pop up like this. Go to OK, and then save it to wherever you want to save it to. So since I don't need this, I'm just going to exit out of it and exit out of it on my phone. But now this, this is a part that you want to know. This, you cannot transfer it into any other file because it won't work. So you can't transfer it into the, your ringtones folder. No, that's not going to work. The way that this is going to work is that you want to open it up. And it's going to be kind of hard to see. But honestly, I mean, I would set it as my default app. But if you roll, if you scroll down, it'll say none or ES music player, right? So you want to select that. Make sure that you select it. Okay. So this will pop up, right? and know that you know you got your little different things like how it would play on a normal player right but whenever that happens what oh, my bad I didn't mean to do that so whenever that happens just open it up and it will always be opening so you'll be able to put as many ringtones as you want to or you'll be able to change it to whatever you want to and you just go right here and go to set ringtone, right? And you'll be able to set it as an alarm, set as a notification, set as a ringtone. So you'll be able to set it as a ringtone. But in this case, just to show you that it works, I haven't set this as my alarm yet. So I'm gonna set it as my alarm and I'll say set successful. So whenever I go into here and then I go down to my alarm, And then scroll over, 
set alarm one time sound on vibrate on so let me go to set alarm and then of course it'll work but anyway that's pretty much how you do it let me see if it'll pull up the music because I haven't I haven't tried it yet with a ringtone on here so anyways it's not gonna let me listen to the to the thing it's probably it's probably in the settings and I'm just being dumb and not going over there check it out okay so let me go back to the settings let me go down to where it says sound alarm volume ringtone volume so I mean yeah see how it said it as that so in the way that you know that is that you know if you go right here it said media you no know, of course it's not gonna do it but you know you you get the idea you know that's that's pretty much how it works and that's how you set custom ringtone on your Android device and this is for the Android devices that have speakers so this should work on the Asus Zen Watch 2 I mean uh, th this is the Asus Zen Watch 2 but it should work on the Huawei Watch 2 and um, yeah that's pretty much how you send it over and then you just you know you just need those couple of apps to create the file that you need it to be or if you can get if you get that if you can get it in the dot OGG file from the get-go that's good you know but just send it over from the ES file explorer and open it and then whenever you open it you'll see that option to over off in the corner with the three dots you'll see the option to actually change it to your ringtone so if you have any questions, if you want to comment, leave me a comment. Let me know if you need help. But as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and please share my videos. You know, I actually take a lot of time out to make these videos, and I hope that it helps y'all out. But once again, thank you. You know, this update just came out not too long ago for me, and I was just messing around with a few things, and I seen on a few, um, like on a few things on the websites that you know how to set ringtones and there's a weird way that you can be able to do it but you don't even have to bother with that anymore you know just use your Android phone to change it to dot, to dot OGG and then send it over from your two apps and once whenever that's done just open it up set it as ringtone and you'll be good but thanks for watching let me know if this helps and